Hey boys, Paul here. You know, there's a question that keeps coming up and I've given it some thought so I figured I'll uh, I'll do a video on it. And the reason I've given it thought because it keeps coming up and I'm like, where are these people getting this crap from? Um, head studs, head gaskets, six, seven Cummins blow head gaskets. Where's this nonsense coming from? And where did it originate from? And of course you guys are gonna say it's not nonsense, it is an issue. You guys are absolutely correct. And the when when the six sevens first came out, there was two issues. Okay? There's two issues. The the way the heads were milled. Now guys, hold your horses. This is this is the only thing that I could come up with as far as possibility that was a problem on the head itself. And I'm coming from a trusted source that goes through Cummins all the time. And this is the only thing that I could come up with as a figure, um, as a physical issue. Because the, the second problem, which did 90% of the blown head gaskets, well, why don't I talk about that? And then we'll, we'll, we'll revert it here. Most commonly, reason a head gasket was blown on a 6 7 because it was tuned wrong. Guys would go in and delete stuff and it was just tuned wrong. You know, they wouldn't they wouldn't compensate for the regens and whatnot. So I'm not gonna get into that technical aspect of it. But simple. When the truck thinking it's doing a region, you need to adapt to that. Those tuners need to do it. So in that moment when the truck's quote unquote doing a regen, because guys keep in mind when these tunes are written, they can't just absolutely go shut everything down. They cannot. So certain things are changed. Certain things are changed so they don't trigger check engine lights and they just work with what they have. Now, quote unquote, a regen happens. The engine does a regen at a certain point, even though it's deleted. Don't blow up the comment section. Do some research. Well, actually, no, better yet. Let's see what, the, what you guys are thinking. Go ahead, blow up the comment section. So when these guys were first tuning them, the six sevens, they weren't they weren't adjusting for that. Well, at that moment, you're towing, climbing the hill, and you're regenning, quote unquote, on a deleted truck. You're blowing stuff. You're, you're you're driving your cylinder pressure through the roof. That's why you're lifting head gaskets, and that's why you're blowing head gaskets. That's why guys, when they went out and put head studs, oh, they're perfectly fine. Well, the original issue, where the ten percent blown head gaskets, is the one I started talking about. Is the mill the those six sevens weren't milled right something about the, the way they were milled not enough surface whatever they the guy at the shop told me he's like that's the only issue I come see in stock form because in stock form singular cases not 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 a lot of what I'm trying to say 10% of the blown head gaskets were in stock form it was because of the head being milled wrong once the guys pulled them off and remilled them and something about the texture the way they the way they, they got milled they were perfectly fine in stock form now in in a deleted form they had to get new tunes and they had to get studded now when you got the 13s you know by the 2013s and up with the DEF the computers got even more complicated so the tuners have to, had to, to do more more stuff but by then they knew that they need to adjust for the regions that's it guys don't go blowing up your wallets, or that's not blowing up your wallets, it's draining out your wallets, it's shrinking your wallets, uh, hurting your bank account, saying, oh, I need to stud my 6.7 because I'm a lift ahead, I'm a blow head gasket. So you do not need to stud no head if you're just running stock truck, close to stock truck, okay? I will share personal experience. I have trucks that tow. If anyone know, if you know anything about towing, you're always boosting. You're always pushing. Well, if you got a weak spot in that head gasket, it will blow. It will go a lot sooner than just cruising along on the freeway. You know, all that heat. Heat is technically good. It expands things. Things get snugger and tighter. Yes, but towing will put that that seal to its test, meaning the head in the block through that head gasket to its test so none of my stock trucks have ever blown a head gasket none of my close to stock trucks have ever blown a head gasket why simple they're tuned right and of 
course it helps now that the milling got issue issue got fixed so recap a quick recap when the first gen six sevens let's just put it from 07 to 2010 came out there's few you know some was what I've been told weren't not milled right the heads were milled right so that's initially where where a weak spot was created and then when guys delete them and turn the boost up turn everything up it just you know the the weakest link rips keep it simple even in stock form as i said some of them would blow head against you that's it guys get your tuning right don't waste your time on studs or your money on studs the only time i would advise one to get studs which you're gonna say well what if i have a 09 or let's just say 07 through 10 i think it was 07 through 12 actually that was the issue and then it was resolved but anyways what if I have that quote unquote first gen 6.7s? What do I do? Buddy, you're out of luck. You know, you, you, you keep pushing stock until you blow a head gasket if you haven't yet. That's when you need to, you know, I, I know this sounds stupid, but if, if your truck made it that far, keep pushing it. And if it blows a head gasket, you change out the head gasket and you stud it. Because something tells me that if that head is a milled right, and you put on a head gasket, or excuse me, if that head that that head is a milled right, and you put on bolts, for some reason something tells me it's not going to hold, because I've heard stories with you know 425 head bolts, blown head gaskets. I'm like, dude, I was even pushing my truck, yada yada. How the heck are you not blowing head gaskets? You know, that's the reason I have 625s. I'm not going to say his name. I respect the guy, but he was head over heels about studying your 6.7s. He's a big supplier for aftermarket. This guy knows his Cummins inside out, or so he thought. You know, he's like, Paul, you're going to blow a head gasket. Paul, you're going to blow a head gasket. And he he almost annoyed me. So I said, well, I just did a job for you. What do you owe me? So he owed me an X amount of money. I'm like, well, give me some 6.25s. He's like, ah, okay, I can do that for you. He's like, at my cost, we would be even. Well, then do that. So he convinced me to put in 625s. This truck is the only truck that has 625 head studs, bolts, whatever. Did it need it? Absolutely not. I got, you know, trucks that work a lot harder than this truck with everything stock on it, and they're not blowing everything. I mean, stock as far as, um, as far as the truck goes, but it's, you know, it's a tow rig. You got to realize that a guy going on there, let's just say a stock guy, a stock 6.7 in a 30 horsepower tuned truck like this, fine tuned. This 30 horse, if it doesn't hook up to a gooseneck very often, it is going to see a lot less stress on that head gasket than the stock one would that's towing day in and day out. They're not that far difference in performance. When you like for you drag racing fellas, if you drag race one of these fine tuned quote unquote versus a stock one, you're not gonna pull on them very far. This truck is not churned up, it's a torque monster, it will pull, it'll do whatever because of its fine tuning and other things done that I that just can't publicly talk about. But put one and one together, you'll figure it out. Keep it simple, let, let them breathe, boys. Let them breathe. That's all that I'm gonna say. Um. You know, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with just running stock. At what point would you would would I recommend studying a truck? I would say 100 horse. You know, once you start climbing in that 80, 90, buy 100, stud your truck. You know, if you're running a 100 horse tune and you got to have these 100 horse, by all means, go for it. You know? So, you know, there you have it. 07s to 12s, guys, you're just, you're gambling, you know? And I supported my facts why I say, if you haven't blown a head gasket, keep trucking. And then once you blow one, that's when you'll reel mill your head and put studs in there. And the reason for that is because guys with studs have still blown head gaskets. Could have been bad tuning, meaning, you know, the, the tuning still wasn't fixed. Even though it studs, they, it could be, it could be a lot of things. But you do your own research and you do your own one, one on one. That's what I would have done. Um, you know, 
12s and up, you know, if you're pushing any tune under 80 horse, I wouldn't stud it. Most importantly, what I got to tell you guys, warm your trucks up before you tow. Warm your trucks up before you go drag race. I don't know what you guys are doing with your trucks, but very important, especially when you're towing. Warm up the, because you need that heat. Stuff expands. That, that head gasket needs to get, you know, sandwiched even harder upon heat. You know, you got, I mean, we're talking about thousands and thousands of thousands. I'm, ex you know, not being sarcastic, but extreme case here. I mean, those metals expand and contrast. So on a cold engine, you hook up and go, build 36 PSI up a hill. Buddy, use your brain. The problem isn't the head gasket. The problem is you, the operator. So anyways, that's it. As, <laughs> as much as I wanted to keep this video short, uh, I'm just trying to hit you guys with information. I am support. I am noticing your guys' support. You guys are crazy, but in a good way. Like, good crazy. Like, you guys are very supportive, and I'm doing whatever I can to throw that info out there for you guys to help uh, any way I can. You know, you guys are helping me grow in my channel. Uh, this is <laughs> entertainment for me and for you guys and knowledge, man. The, the more you know, the, the stronger you are, the wiser, whatever you want to say. You know, knowledge is, is power is what it comes down to. So the, the more you know about your truck, the more comfortable you all driving it, you know. When I bought this truck, I was freaking out, you know. I'm like, push button, start. How long is this thing going to last, you know. And I start thinking, I'm like, well, the mechanism key has an electric part on the end of it, too. It's not like it's all metal on metal action and shorts out your starter all of a sudden your truck fires up. You know, there's electronics in there. So I gave the benefit of the doubt that it'll last 100,000. I'll be switching out that switch. Well, it's 137. I'm still not having a switch. You know, I haven't had any issues. Knock on wood. This is wood. And uh, hopefully I won't have any issues. But, you know, you. The, the more I understood this truck, the more I feel comfortable, the more I could say I'll go to New York anytime, any day with this truck. Why? Because I trust it. A, and B, I understand the way it works. So if something to go haywire, I would have a pretty good idea, unlike a guy that just jumped in a truck like this and been like, yeah, I wonder what that was all about, you know? Anyways, guys, God bless you. Y'all take care, and y'all have a mighty fine day. Ciao. Bye.